Hey, what's up everyone? Keith Locke here, Tips and Tricks HQ. In this video, let's go through the installation of the all-in-one WP security and firewall plugin. Then we'll go over some of the uh, firewall features of it. Okay, the first thing I wanted, I'm just gonna download it from the WordPress plugin repository. I'm just gonna download it right to my desktop. And within WordPress, I'm gonna go to plugins, add new, upload, choose file, Double click on the all-in-one WP security and firewall zip file. Install now. Click activate plugin. And now there's a new WP security menu here. So we're gonna go right to the dashboard. Okay, as you can see on the dashboard, um, I do not have any basic firewall settings. So I'm gonna click on on and it's gonna bring me to the firewall page so I can set some things up. On this page here, you can enable um, two sections for the basic firewall settings. Now, um, it's a good idea, of course, that it gives you an indication here that you can back up your HT access file because it is gonna be modding, modifying that file during this process. So all you simply have to do is click on these check boxes in order to enable these, this protection. Now, um, to get an idea of what it what exactly this does, you just click on the more info. And what this does now, it says here, it's going to pr protect, uh, it's going to deny access um, from other scripts modifying the HD access file, and as well as the WP hyphen config file, which are key files which can affect um, the installation uh, of your WordPress site. So denying access to those files is a good idea. Now, of course, this plugin will still have access to those files um, when needed, um, particularly the HT access file. And this also disables the server signature, um, therefore it pre prevents um, knowledge, like a hacker gaining knowledge of the uh, versions of the software that's running on the server. And now, so you can just check that to enable that. And then this, this here, if you're not using the XML RPC functionality, then you could turn this on. And this could um, essentially protect you from denial of service attacks. So just click on Save Basic Firewall Settings after you check both of those. Okay, in a similar way, you can um, activate additional firewall rules and again um, you're, this is a new layer so it's a good idea to back up the HD access file can, because some of these can actually um, prevent the functionality of some of your plugins and other scripts so um, you should take a backup and then you know if you're going to turn any of these on again you can just click on the more info to learn more about them and then um, once you turn them on after you back up the HD access file, then you can make sure everything is still functioning as it should be on your website. All right, and then similarly, you can go through um, all the other options for for the firewall rules, and just turn them on as as you see fit. All right, that's all there is to it. Um, you can check out the article for more detailed information about each of these uh, these settings. All right. Again, this is Keith Locke, Tips and Tricks HQ. Thanks for watching.